Welcome back to our reaction video. But today we are talking about for the amazing animals, prehistoric animals. So no, we're not talking about the National Geographic version. We're talking about the uh, the series. Right. All right. So let's go for it. I think it's coming. Check it out. All sorts of animals. Yup. The other amazing animals. Prehistoric animals. Hey, Henry! Coming through, coming through! Hey, out of my place, Slowpoke! Have some respect, Henry. That tortoise is a very ancient animal. You're telling me? Hey, make way for the younger generation! No! I mean that some animals like tortoises have been around since prehistoric times. Wow, it's a tortoise! Yeah, you know, a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Excuse me, are you telling me this guy's a dinosaur? Well, kind of. But dinosaurs are big and scary. I Life think scary that it is. Roar! 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 Almost as small as you. They were? Hey, this I gotta see. Uh, Henry. Henry! The dinosaurs have been dead for millions of years. How do you think you're going to actually see them? In my time machine, of course. Oh, a time machine? Oh, I believe this. See you later. Henry? Henry? Wait for me! Whoa! What an amazing ride! Hey, wait a minute. It can't be working. These aren't dinosaurs. Well, by my calculations we're millions of years back in time but but aren't all these animals alive today i, I mean in the future i mean ah but some of them were also around before the dinosaurs wow that is ancient <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some changes, i think i heard it a dinosaur They might be a shell. I have no idea what this is. It might be a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Can't you see the time traveling or what? It gives me the creep. Ever forests, but you know you can still find a few of them around today. 
I think I never heard of this, Dad. I'm thinking the Roots and Swatses are talking about. I think it's a dragonfly! Dragonfly! That is amazing. Possible. It's a young salamander. Salamander, eh? Well, he sure has got some mouth on him. But come on, he's a I mean, what's he doing on the I think it might be a salamander. It's a lizard. <gasps> yep, a lizard. Oh, nobody knows about that. They even have special gills to help them breathe underwater. Oh, really? I've been silly looking gills all my life. Ah, but they don't have them all their life. Salamanders lose their gills when they become adults. Oh, that's kind of careless. <laughs> Henry, they stop using gills because they move on to land and breathe fresh air instead. You know, leaving the water was an incredibly important moment. Sure, one small step for a salamander, one giant slimy leap for salamander guy. <gasps> Holy! Like that's the insane. The of many of the animals on Earth today. Pretty amazing, huh, Henry? Coming through! Hey Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about what happened to the dinosaurs. Uh, oh, right. Here goes. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the dinosaurs ruled the Earth. But then suddenly, the Earth's climate changed, and it got way too cold for dinosaurs. How Are you still so cold? So far, so good, Henry. Really? Oh, right. Well, the dinosaurs were so cold that one day, they all had a big meeting and decided that it was time to go find some sun. So, they all grew wings, turned into dragons, and flew south for the winter. Uh, are you sure about this, Henry? Sure, I'm sure. Anyway, the dinosaurs, who are now dragons, all flew to a truck. Dinosaurs? Dragons? That is so silly ish. Right. I think I need to get a dragon. A Komodo dragon? And a 
Whoa, something big is coming. Something is so big. Oh, okay. Huh. I see it about that. <laughs> oh, just like me. Oh, I am a dinosaur. There goes a big fish. Let's <laughs> don't tip it in the stomach, all right? I see that coming, did you? Okay, so where are we now? We've traveled to the Age of Reptiles. Ancient Reptiles. You know, all that time travel makes a lizard thirsty. Hey, waiter, there's a salamander in my water. Wait a minute, they're not reptiles. You're right, Henry. They're amphibians. Oh, amphibians, huh? So like a frog, huh? I believe this. It is a dinosaur. Man, I missed your crocodile. All about dinosaurs. He was around at exactly the same time they were. Huh? What fellow? <sighs> Don't worry, Henry. He can't see you if you stay still. If you think I'm staying still with him around, you're crazy. Than I thought. Here comes the next part. I think I believe this. Though some people think there are animals left on this planet that are directly descended from the dinosaurs. That's unbelievable! Is it? Look at this. Well, yeah, the unmistakable Is that a big feet? That is impossible. Feathers? Feathers? <laughs> what do you expect? It's an ostrich. So, not a dinosaur then. No. Birds do have some dinosaur features. In fact, one of the first <gasps> birds was a He's still a bird? Yep. This is going to be an That's ostrich. Ostrichs, Henry. Now, don't you see that if birds are descended from dinosaurs, then that means... Dinosaurs didn't die out! Birds still around! Yay! And seeing how many birds there are, you can say the descendants <gasps> of the dinosaurs... Run! Ostrich, run away, ostrich! <gasps> ostrich coming through! I think they're run away. Go away. Oh, 
the golden Gator Awards. It's impossible. Impossible. Me? You still on a crocodile? Yup. I sure dies. Whoa! You believe this in action? They're coming! Well, not another... So not another fight! Oh, okay. Oh! I know about that. Crocodiles do. I think I might be a chicken, huh? Oh, great, the dinosaur. Come on, what's the big idea it's supposed to? It's a caveman, all right? So you might be a whack, huh? Wherever we are now, it sure is cold. That's because we're in the last ice age, Henry. About ten thousand years ago. Yeah, the last ice age. But that is a home, alright? How can I get valuable? I knew the saber tooth tiger. Saber tooth tiger. When cavemen were around, mammals were the number one animals. <gasps> Some of the I really love the number one animals. <laughs> They're such primitive creatures that they still lay eggs, like reptiles and birds. Still almost. Amazing metal animals is coming, don't you? Right. Yep, I knew about this. These great herds would have been dwarfed by the herds of ancient times. Looks like we might finally get to see some action. Big herds have always acted like a magnet for carnivores, whether it was the I think it's one and two. Looks 
like we're going home. There's a tiger. Looks well, like we're back, Henry. We are? Great. The past was a little too scary. For I my think life. there might be done. It's alright, Henry. It's only a fossil. A what? A fossil. I know it's a the fossil. Remains of an ancient animal that fell into mud. Over the years, the animal and the mud turned into hard rock, and that's how some ancient skeletons have been preserved. Excuse me, but that's amazing. Other animals have been preserved in ice. Even animals the size you might be cool with ice. Hey, that guy looks like his whole body got It's broken. a mammoth! It certainly did, Henry. But even after thousands of years, the ice preserved the animals so well that people could still eat the meat. I think they're frozen. Get it? Frozen? evolution for you, Henry. Most animals just weren't equipped to survive all the changes this planet's been through. But there have been exceptions. I thought there might be. Goodbye, dinosaurs. One of those exceptions is the horseshoe crab. It's not really a crab at all, but closer to an amphibious spider. <laughs> Now it's that's what I can pause up all. Don't you think about this is? Yep. I knew about these dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Whoa, now that's what I call the same place. When they started, there were no hungry goats on the earth. You'd think they'd learn, wouldn't you? Well, Henry, the birds! I knew about that! Scientists have been able to work out how big some of these animals were and even how fast they could run. Excuse me, but that's amazing. You that's know, amazing it is. Hey, it fits. It's your footprint. The mud you stepped in back in that ancient forest has become a fossil, Henry. Wow. You can just call me Henry Soros for short. Yes, Henry, on this show, even you get to be an amazing prehistoric animal. Well, that's it for this video then, and we'll see you next time.